Hi guys, welcome. If you're new here, my name's Nikki. I'm a beekeeper and I make beekeeping videos. If that's something you like watching, then hit the subscribe button. If you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back and listening to what I have to say. I really appreciate it. Probably one of the first things that you think of when you hear the term honeybee is obviously honey. Honey bees are notorious and famous for producing honey. That is a substance that they produce and humans um, consume that. It's also pretty widely known that they make a substance called beeswax. Beeswax is also used uh, by humans all the time and multiple products that we use every single day. There's another substance that honeybees make that you may not know about unless you're a beekeeper and that's something called propolis. You may also hear it called propolis. Now propolis is a very sticky resin-like substance that honeybees make out of tree sap, out of their own saliva, beeswax, and a little bit of pollen. Now the consistency of the propolis and the actual uh, makeup and ingredients of the propolis are going to vary from hive to hive and location to location. And this propolis serves a lot of purposes to the bees. One of the main purpose that honeybees use propolis for is to seal the hive. If you've watched any beekeeping videos where a beekeeper is doing a hive inspection, you'll notice that as we are manipulating the hive and removing uh, frames and covers, you'll hear that kind of crack a little bit. And that's because bees uh, really seal every crack and crevice of their hive. And they do that for a couple reasons. Uh, one of the bigger ones is temperature control. So honeybees are really, really great at regulating the temperature inside of their hive for a couple different reasons. One of the reasons uh, for regulating the temperature is they need the temperature to be very specific in order to uh, kind of help with uh, growing uh, baby bees inside the hive and also it helps with honey production. So they need a specific temperature to turn that nectar into honey. Another thing that's important for the bees to seal the hive off is propolis is antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal, and it will help keep any kind of infections or bacteria out of the hive. It also does decrease the possibility that predators can get inside the hive as well. So like I said, it's very, very difficult as a beekeeper and we typically need to use some type of metal tool to get the hive open. So if you have a raccoon or any type of critter, it's gonna be very difficult for them to be in uh, and able to get inside of that hive because there's so much propolis in there. Now, as I said before, the makeup and consistency of your propolis is going to vary from hive to hive. Also, the amount of propolis that the bees make and store is gonna vary from hive to hive. So I have some hives that make just enough propolis, um, and I have some hives that make a surplus of it. And propolis, uh, as it gets warmer, the temperature increases, it gets a little more sticky, and also becomes kind of taffy-like when it gets really warm. So as the temperature increases, the propolis melts a little bit. So in some of my hives that have a ton of it, you'll actually be able to see the propolis dripping down the inside of the hive and it kind of looks a little bit like this. So you have some hives that really make a lot more propolis than others and this hive is one of them. So you can see that beautiful propolis kind of going down the side of the hive there. Another really interesting thing that bees use propolis for, and that is, again, to protect them from predators. Bees are great at defending their hives, and if you get um, wasps, hornets, other type of bees or insects that get in the hive, they're very good at defending themselves, killing those insects, and then they'll actually just drag them out of the hive. Um, however, they have predators that are bigger that the bees are not able to get out. Um, for instance, a mouse can get inside the hive, especially when it's cold outside, they are drawn in because of the honey um, and the heat. The temperature inside the hive on really cold days is uh, kind of draws mice or attracts them into the hive. And what can happen is if mice get inside of the hive, the bees are not gonna like that and they are going to attack the mouse uh, and likely kill the mouse. 
But when that happens, the bees are not able to drag the mouse out of the hive. And if left inside the hive, that mouse is going to start to decay, decompose, and there's gonna be a lot of bacteria and possibly parasites and disease that comes with that decomposition process of the mouse. So what bees will do to kind of combat that is, is they will completely cover uh, that animal, that mouse, whatever it is, in propolis. And they will essentially mummify it. Um, since they can't get it out, they gotta do something with it and they will just encase it in the propolis. And again, propolis is antibacterial, antimicrobial, and antifungal. So it will keep all of that bacteria and disease away from the bees. Um, that I have personally not ever seen that happen in one of my hives, um, but I know beekeepers who have. So that's an interesting thing uh, that bees are able to do to protect themselves. Another thing I think most people may not realize about propolis is that it can be uh, consumed by humans and have a lot of potential benefits. Now, there have been some studies on the health benefits or the potential health benefits of propolis, but we really don't have extensive enough studies to have a definitive answer on that. But because of all of the antibacterial and antimicrobial and antifungal properties of it, there is a potential for this in our healthcare as humans. It's thought that propolis may help uh, boost our immune system, may help treat wounds, uh, oral infections, and many other things. Now, one of the things that I've personally done with propolis, and I could maybe make a video on this, is I have made it into cough drops. Um, and again, I'll do a future video on that, but I did like those and I found them very helpful and effective. Um, so that's something that you can do with propolis. If you are interested in possibly ingesting your propolis or purchasing it um, from somebody else, I would always recommend that you talk to your physician or your um, family practice nurse practitioner about that first because there always is a potential for an allergy. Propolis does have pollen in it. Um, it does have um, tree material in it. So I would just make sure that you run that past your physician or NP before you even consider ingesting the propolis. So that's kind of just a quick overview on what propolis is and what the potentials are. Um, hopefully we will find out more um, and from our scientific community in the future about the benefits of propolis because the limited studies that have been done have been pretty promising. I'll try to find some of those and I'll link them down in the description below if you want to check them out. Let me know if you guys have ever tried propolis or you know but anybody who has and kind of what your experience was with that. Um, if you have any questions for me, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.